seems like these people they have some catch and they are pulling the rope for their net to come to the shore for their net to come to the shore that's what they are doing right now this is something that I've actually witnessed a place that I grew up in Ghana I've witnessed a couple of times here so when it comes to fisher folks and how they do their stuff I know a bit I just don't know the reason why the shore is always dirty like this and you don't have anyone picking these stuff or cleaning the beaches Sierra Leone has beautiful beaches no doubt yes but this particular place I don't know why it's always dirty I just don't know why it's always dirty but it's a beautiful beach that I know for sure that when they decide to clean it it will become a very 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 beautiful place trust me it will become a very 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 beautiful place to be home. This is what they are doing. Pulling their rope. They are bringing the net to the shore. It seems these people have already done this, and their net is their net is very close. We are going to see some fishes very soon. I'm vlogging this for you to see what or how it's done here how it's done here I can see even women in the sea I don't know what they are actually doing but it seems like they are helping in bringing the nets to the shore this is a very big net oh Charlie this is a very big net this is another group I guess this is a very big net you know when you see people in the sea like that you might think hey, it's very easy and you want to try it please don't try this don't try this so this is what is going on I learned um, this area is called Banda Wharf. This is the area. I don't know if you can see far ahead. You can see some boats. This is uh, one place that um, when you travel, this is actually where the the uh, um, this place is actually where the uh, uh, what's the name uh, the airport is Sierra Leone. This is where the airport is. Um, it's around this area, just around this area. Even this morning, we've seen some um, aircraft uh, going to Gambia and the other places. So, normally, what um, you know, there is no uh, like they don't have any bridge connecting Lunge and Freetown. So, Lunge is where the airport is. So, when the planes come, the place that I showed you, the place that you see far ahead where the boats are, these are the places that um, normally when you land here in Lunge at the airport you can have a, um, a car or a motorbike bring you around that this area to take a speedboat from here to the capital whilst we are here you are not really seeing the capital but it's not far away it's not far away so from here you take a speedboat from here to the capital but this is actually the sea so you'll be um you'll be riding on the sea from here to freetown the capital so basically that's how it is here uh, we, we are hoping and praying that one day one day one day they will try and make a bridge that connects lunge and freetown so that it will, it will be easier because 
um, you know, the number of people that even commute from here to from Lunge to Freetown is a lot. Like Charlie, they have a lot of people that commute from here. I've shown you videos. I think I've been on that um, ferry a couple of times, so I've shown you videos. They are on my channel. You can check them out. Looking at this area, I just love this country. I don't know why, but um, they need certain things that I know. Perhaps the current government or any government that will come into power will try and do. We are hoping and praying because Charlie, this place that we have has a lot of potential, especially when it when it comes to tourism and everything, everything. Because this is where the airport is. They have a beautiful sea. Um, they they have a flat land. You know, in the capital, it's mountainous, like mountains everywhere. So this is the only place that doesn't really have i want to say the only place other places to have flat land but i will say the place that is closer to the capital that has flat land is this place lunge so trust me um i'm hoping and praying that something like that will be done the people are here the fish as you can see yes 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 we are hoping they had a very good catch we are hoping they had a very good catch. We are hoping they had a very good catch. We are hoping they had a very good catch, Charlie. Going to sea is not easy. It's not an easy work. It's not an easy job. Going to the sea is not an easy work. It's not an easy job. So when they bring these fishes and they sell it cheap to you, you should know that it is not an easy work. It is not an easy job. Yes. Just look at the stress that they go through. And being in the sea alone, if you, you are not experienced that, that much, it is not something that you can easily... Um, the catch that they got... Uh, to be honest, I was expecting something like plenty of fish, but it seems like small, 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 small fishes that they got. They just got something small. I guess their next is not, or oh, perhaps they did not. Uh, these are small, small fishes. I've seen bigger catches. I've seen bigger catch. Previously where I grew up, so seeing this. You know normally the season is actually around August, September thereabouts. That's when they get a lot of catch. Yes. But even with the normal days, I think they can still make some good catch. Have a, like make a big catch. These are just small, 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 small fishes.
So the women that you're seeing, actually, um, I learned they are rather catching their own fishes. So the white nets that you are seeing them holding, they are trying to catch their own heads. And they have pans on their head in this water, in the sea, and they are trying to catch their own fish. This is something new that I am, I am seeing here, because I've never, even where, like where I grew up is a coastal area, but I've never seen something like this before. Normally, what I know is that the men will go the bring fishes for the ladies, and the ladies will be waiting for them um, to buy the fishes and sell it to anyone who wants to buy. But here, the women also go into the sea. The women also go into the sea and they have their pants on their head at the same time they have nets that they are trying to catch their own fishes they are trying to catch their own fish so as you are seeing them in the sea that is what and just look at how far some people can go and you know this is where they, they like they were born so when it comes to the sea you that you don't know how to swim please 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 never try this please please never try this but for them they can go as far as they want and they can easily swim whenever there is danger or something swim to the shore whenever there is danger or something so hey <laughs> i i grew up in such places so i know you can see a very small boy swimming and you might think oh this is very easy don't try <laughs> never ever try yeah so let's go to another place i think these people too are bringing their nets trying to bring the net to the shore. It is not easy. This work that you are seeing, eh? It is not an easy work. Trust me, it is not easy. So, as you are seeing this, is Banda Waf in Lunge, Sierra Leone. This is where I am and I am trying to uh, give vlog this whole process to you for you to see how how they do their fishing here basically so let's go just keep watching but I think what these women are doing is very brave because Charlie it's not easy it is not easy at all it's not easy I think there are another group too far ahead I think there are another group too far ahead I'm seeing them and as you can see I think if you are watching this on a bigger screen you will see some women also in the sea doing the same thing that I spoke about and it's just crazy Charlie, this type of work <laughs> and the funny thing is they will bring these fishes to the shore and they will bring these fishes to the shore and the prices the prices the prices these these um, women that buy these fishes will be giving them some ridiculous prices and <laughs> you don't even understand they will be giving them some ridiculous prices eh? they will just buy the fishes very cheap and immediately they take it to the markets the prices skyrockets it's like i don't know if they did not even take any car they did not use any fuel just taking it from the shore to the market and the market is very close the prices just skyrockets and that's what happens so if um you are someone that you want cheaper like you want to buy cheaper fish it's it's better you have a freezer you go to the shore yourself wait for the men to come you buy it right from them then you take it home store store it in your freezer and Charlie you are good that's actually what I will advise because Charlie the, the moment these these market women and uh, whoever go to buy them and try to sell it back to you you'll be amazed the prices that they are going to sell it to you it's just crazy it is just crazy so have you seen a boat going this boat is going to freetown 
this boat that you are seeing far ahead it is going to Freetown because I'm sure um, some people have come from the um, from another country or from anywhere somewhere to the airport and they are trying to get to Freetown they are trying to get to Freetown so this boat this speed boat is taking them to Freetown as you can see far ahead this boat is taking them to Freetown so this is how it is here whenever you 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 drop from wherever and you land in Sierra Leone where you are going to land is the airport in Lunge and from Lunge going to Freetown there is no bridge connecting that you can easily say I'm using my car or uh, I'm taking a car or something so definitely it is going to be a boat that is the closest and the easiest way of commute uh, like um, traveling from let's say Lunge to Freetown yes from Lunge to Freetown from Lunge to Freetown so Charlie is just crazy as you can see the boat that is the boat going that is the boat this is a speedboat just going taking people from here to and they have the other side that's Tar Green that's where the ferry is Tar Green that's where the ferry is Tar Green that's where the ferry is and you see um, a lot of people and for the ferry it takes even cars you know some people have their own cars and they don't want to go to the capital and be uh, taking small like smaller buses like the public buses and all that so they prefer driving their own cars so you have to take your car to Tagreen um take the ferry and the ferry will take you to uh, Freetown then you can drive your car inside um, Freetown easily so when you want to come back the same process the same procedure so basically that's what um, they do and do something like that they should really really try you can see women working on a catch that has been that has that has been brought to the shore that has been brought to the shore it's just crazy just crazy sometimes look at it the boat is going to free town when you are here you don't see free town but when you go to Tagreen where the um, the ferry is that place you can clearly see free town because free town is a very mountainous area but I think here is a bit far from here is a bit far from uh, Freetown, so you are not seeing Freetown. Yeah, you are not seeing Freetown. So that is the boat. Far ahead it is going. Far ahead it is going. Some men too are working. They are bringing their nets to the shore. Pulling of this thing, these ropes, <laughs> it is not easy, trust me. It is not an easy job not easy at all it is not an easy job so the place that you are seeing over there is that's the uh, um their landing point for the boats and when the and when you want to also come and uh, take a boat right from the airport to um, right from the airport to Freetown that is where you will come the place that you're seeing that is where you will come let me just go closer and show you properly so that you can at least have a look of how the place looks like I'm actually on the shore so they are bringing their nets fine oh brother 
Shaka. Pop, pop, pop. So this is what goes on around here. People live in this. Um, in Ghana we call it Atakwame. But these are mad houses. These are mad houses. Atakwame. But these are mad houses. People live in them. So that is... They are repairing they are repairing some canoes they are repairing some canoes to be taken to the sea they are repairing some canoes that is going to be taken to the sea that is going to be taken to the sea just crazy this is Africa this is how basically um, people around the shores or the sea close to the sea the fisher folks the fishermen they work and get their daily bread they work and get their daily bread Yes, sir. Uh, is it? Uh, anything, sir. What will be the video, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So this is the place normal this is the place this is the area this is the place this is the area and as you can see this is the road that when you are coming from the airport you use straight to this place to come and take a boat from here to Freetown so that is the road that is the road that is the road so that is the road Even here that um, welcomes people from outside because this place Sierra Leone is like a to uh, like, like their tourism is also very known especially the, their beaches and all that so keeping here very neat is very important I think it's something that they should try and do so that um, people coming at least will see a clean beach than here being dirty like this not nice yeah so this is actually where I bring my vlog to an end um, I just wanted to show you what goes on around Bandawaf Bandawaf yes this is Bandawaf and this is what goes on here Bandawaf this is what goes on here so thank you for watching thank you thank you so much um thank you for watching i will i will be bringing you videos about sierra leone so i have a lot of videos to show you so don't worry um 
I came here because of business, but I will still try my best and be giving you videos on Sierra Leone or about Sierra Leone. So stay tuned, keep watching, and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? And share the video. Thank you for watching.